Hey friends, Daniel here with the Lead Pages Tech Team bringing you today's tech tip. The header of your site is crucial to your visitors being able to comfortably navigate your site. During this tech tip, we're going to go ahead and dive into the header and navigation for sites created under the site section of a Lead Pages account. Now, as you can see here, I do have a site already pulled up that we're going to be working with. Now, as we dive into our site, just a couple of quick things that I do want to note is that with our logo here, what this will link to is it will automatically link to your homepage of your site. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click over to our pages menu here on the left hand side of our screen. In our pages menu, this is where we're going to see not only our navigation items, that's going to be what's found under primary navigation. We can move our navigation items around by clicking and holding those six dots or even make sub menus by going to the right just like this. Now we can also add pages into our navigation menu by just clicking the plus sign and we can create a new page within our site or we can link to something like say for example an external URL or a landing page published under the landing pages section of our lead pages account. Now as we're in here what we know or how to tell what is our home page of our site is it's going to be denoted by a house icon here now we can change our home page of course at any time it's going to be only available for pages created within the site can be made a home page so for example this page right here that is more is just a link so it's not going to be able to be set as a home page but if i wanted my services page to be my home page i could say edit page settings set services as my home page and save now that we've gone over that information, let's go ahead and dive into the settings in our header and our navigation. So as we can see here, I do have a few elements in here, my navigation, a logo, and then I have the option for a plus, which is going to be actually just a button that I can add. And I can do that by clicking on the plus sign here, add button, or I'm going to have that option here in edit header. Now in edit header, let's just start with our header. For our header, we can change the layout. So say, for example, maybe we want to have the logo appear on top of our, our navigation, just like this, or maybe we want it to appear more towards the center, just like this. And maybe we add a button at a later point. Now, once we select what we want, we just go ahead and go back. We have the ability to change the height of our header so we can make it larger or smaller. We can change our background color. So I maybe want to just do like a, a white or kind of a clear coloring here. And we have the ability to adjust if this header remains in place when we scroll down on our site. So for example, we do have it turned on right now. So of course, as we scroll down, it's going to stay at the top. If I turn that off, we're just going to see it disappear as we scroll down the page. Now, as we keep it scrolling, so we keep it so that it scrolls, shows when scrolling, we do have the ability to adjust that, that header so we can make it smaller as it scrolls and our logo size too as it scrolls. Now, I know we had talked about adding a button via this plus option here, but we do have that option right here as well. So you can add that button in. Once you add the button in, of course, you can edit it. So adjusting its styling, the text, the color, so button color and hover text. And hover text is available here because I chose line. And then last year, link it to an action item. So what happens when somebody clicks on that button, whether you link it to a pop-up or somewhere on the site, uh, or maybe an external URL, for example. Now, outside of those options, let's go ahead and go back to edit header. Let's focus in on navigation. Now, under navigation, we have a few options, and this is just going to be more focused on our, our font and our text, right? So we can change our font to something different. It'll have, affect our font here. We can adjust the size of our text, the styling, default font color, so our, our font color here. Selected font color, so that would just mean the page that we're on. So we're on services page. If I go ahead and adjust this, we'll see that that changes that color because I'm on it. And then last one here is the underline. The page we're on is going to be underlined there. So you can change that underline color as well. Now, last thing I want to note in here is that logo. And I'm going to go ahead and click on edit logo. As we do so, we're going to see some options available for our logo. So if you have an image for your logo, you can certainly add that to your lead pages account. You can just say choose. If you haven't already uploaded it, upload it here under this section. It'll then show under the images section here. You can click on it and then insert it. So insert it just like such. Now, if you don't have an image of your logo, you can certainly use the text option that we offer. But going back to image here, of course, you can adjust the size of that logo. 
Uh, if you don't have an image though, certainly use our text option here and you just input the text you want to appear here and then you can change your font, your sizing, and then your styling and coloring as well. I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me for this tech tip and don't forget if you have any questions, our knowledge base and support team are just a click away.